going to discuss about uh, law of radioactive decay here we are going to discuss how the nuclear decaying in a unit time so for that purpose there is a relation like this minus dn by dt minus dn by dt is directly proportional to capital n what is this minus dn by dt we have to observe this minus dn by dt is called the rate of decay of nuclei rate of rate of decay of nuclei rate of decay of nuclei is given as minus dn by dt how many nuclei decaying in a unit time number of nuclei decaying per unit time is called as rate of decay decay means what do you mean by decay decreasing disintegration we also call decay as disintegration or decreasing that is indicated by negative sign here negative sign says that the number of nuclear decaying so rate of decay means number of nuclear decay in a unit time rate of decay of nuclei is directly proportional to capital n what is this capital n capital n is called number of nuclei remaining at that instant so nuclei we can write it as number of nuclei number of nuclei present at that instant present that is remaining present at that instant present at that instant this is the radioactive law radioactive law means what we can say law of radioactive decay means rate of disintegration of nuclei is directly proportional to number of nuclei present at that instant how many nuclei are there at that particular instant of time that is called as kaplan how many nuclei are decaying decay means uh, they are decreasing in a unit time so how the decay takes place that is called as minus dn by dt negative sign indicates decay so from this information i can write here minus dn by dt is equal to i am writing it as n lambda i remove proportionality symbol and i wrote a constant the constant is lambda don't think this lambda is the release wavelength this lambda is called decay constant the proportionality symbol what we observe here this lambda we are calling it as decay constant decay constant so what we notice here is minus dn by dt equal to n lambda this negative sign indicates decay number of nuclei decreasing with respect to time as time is increasing time is increasing nuclear decreasing equal to n number of nuclei present at that instant lambda decay constant so from this information now i can write it as dn by n dn by n is equal to minus lambda into dt just i shuffle the terms minus as and other side and this one what i did here n i brought to the denominator here and dt i have taken to right side and i got the expression like that minus dn by dn equal to minus lambda dt why you are doing like that sir because i want to do the integration process why you are doing integration process sir what is the purpose of doing integration here i will tell beta the purpose of doing here integration is because from starting time t equal to 0 seconds the number of nuclei or let us take n not n not is called initial number of nuclei from starting at 0 seconds to some time t t equal to some time t so suppose for 5 minutes after 5 minutes how many nuclei decayed like that so initial t is equal to 0 the number of nuclei are not after a time t equal to t decay decay means decreasing now the remaining nuclei we are taking it as n 
n is number of nuclei present at that instant or remaining nuclei so the number of nuclei are decayed from n not to n they are decreasing initially more t equal to 0 starting number of nuclei i am calling it as n not at present time t equal to t i am calling it as number of nuclei as capital n so nuclei decreased from n not to n n not to n n not is at time t equal to 0 n is at a time t equal to t now apply integrations we know that integral dn by n is actually what we have here integral dn by n is equal to minus lambda into integral dt we told lower limit 0 upper limit t here at 0 time the number of nuclear n not at present time number of nuclear n at time t now nuclear n so integral dn by n is log n base c log n base c so log n base c is the formula for integral dn by n in integrations actually we have one formula beta integral dx by x integral dx by x is nothing but log x base c this is the basic formula from integrations by using this formula what i understood here that is integral dn by n is nothing but log n base c lower limit n not upper limit n i have to apply the limits here you observe carefully here minus lambda into what we have integral dt integral dt is simply t we know from integrations integral dt is nothing but t we are taking from the starting time 0 to present time t so this radioactivity when we are discussing we need to have this information about integrations also so until unless you are not clear with integrations radioactivity dealing is little tough beta integral dn by n is log n base c lower limit n not upper limit n and because from sorting n not initial number of nuclei n is present after decay how many are remaining after decay how many are remaining n initial sorting zero time now present time t like that we wrote now here you observe applying the limits first we apply upper limit minus lower limit I always substitute upper limit minus lower limit. Again here, minus lambda into upper limit substitution minus lower limit. So here this is the formula what we got. Minus lambda into T minus 0. Nothing but again we know logarithms. Here logarithms. You observe this one it is like log a minus log b log a minus log b in coming classes one day i will discuss about uh, how to do the integrations and everything better so don't worry about integrations just concentrate on this now log n base c log n not base c log a minus log b in logger terms we have formula beta log a minus log b is equal to log of a by v this is the logarithm formula what we have so log a minus log b is equal to log of a by b that is the logarithm formula here log n minus log n naught now what should i write log n minus log n naught means log base c n by n naught n by n naught is equal to minus lambda t this is the formula i got remember this formula very very important i am writing this formula in next page concentrate on that so i have written it as log base here n by n naught n by n naught is equal to minus lambda t remember this formula from this step i can also write it as n by n naught is equal to n by n naught is equal to this base c base c will go other side log base c is there e base c if you send other side it will become exponential e power minus lambda t 
from logarithm formula we have to get now n equal to n not into e power minus lambda t this is the formula what we will get in radioactive law n is number of nuclei present at that instant n not is initial number of nuclei remember what is n not means we have to remember it as initial number of nuclei initial number of nuclei that is about law of radioactivity let us observe what we discussed in law of radioactivity first i told minus dn by dt is directly proportional to n what is minus dn by dt rate of decay of nuclei is directly proportional to number of nuclei present at that instant this is number of nuclei present at that instant so from this information after this what we got here minus dn by dt equal to n lambda proportionality symbol we removed when we remove the proportionality symbol we got lambda lambda is called proportionality constant so from here what we notice so after that by integrating the two equations from starting time t equal to 0 to t equal to t at t equal to 0 number of nuclear are not at equal to t number of nuclear n so applying the integrations here what we noticed finally we got the expression like this log n by n not base e equal to minus lambda t so after that what we got log n by n not base e log n by n not base e equal to minus lambda t and the final solution i can write it as n equal to n not into e power minus lambda t don't forget here n not is called initial number of nuclei n not is called initial number of nuclei now what is the relation here relation between n and n not means we found this one how to draw the graphs for this one graphs are also very very important in this instant here so n is equal to n not what we wrote n is equal to n not into e power minus lambda t so if you plot the graph for number of nuclei left number of nuclei left means that is n number of nuclei left remaining and the time if you plot the graph it is exponential and what is happening here minus it is decreasing so from initially n not it is decreasing we will get the shape of rectangular hyperbola initial number of nuclear n not now it is going on decreasing that type of graph will get for n and t graph means n and t here what is n number of nuclei remaining number of nuclei remaining suppose if you draw the plot the graph for logarithm because this formula we can also write it as log n by n not base e is equal to minus lambda t from this information what is the formula for this one means what we can write observe carefully this is for this formula we got the graph like this that is a graph drawn between number of nuclei and time now from this formula means log n by n not equal to minus lambda t let me take a fresh page here log n by n not by c is equal to minus lambda t so i can write it as log n base c minus log n not base c is equal to minus lambda t you know log of a by b is log a minus log b from here log n base e is equal to minus lambda t plus log n base e now the graph you are plotting for what and what i am plotting the graph for n and t n not n log n log n base e and t i am plotting the graph so this graph is for what and what log n base e and time so observe here log n base e is taken on y axis 
time is taken on x axis now if you create y equal to mx plus c equation what is m what is c here observe carefully here m is equal to what we got minus lambda c is equal to what we got log n not base c e. so from the previous graph you observe carefully what i wrote here now that is y equal to mx plus c so m is called slope m is called slope c is called y intercept so now y intercept is nothing but log n not base e and m is slope is nothing but minus lambda so from here m is minus lambda log n not by ac is y intercept so it is satisfying y equal to mx plus c we have to take straight line graph if it is satisfied y equal to mx plus c so straight line graph initially y intercept is positive this is y intercept that is what is y intercept log n not base e and the slope is negative negative slope indicates like this this is the negative slope so the graph actually plot for log n base e in y axis and time on x axis time on x axis and we are drawing the graph downward so remember always slope is suppose positive slope is positive we'll draw like that upward slope this is a positive slope but here m value is negative negative slope means we have to draw always down this indicates number of nuclei decaying with respect to time decrease decay is explained by negative slope i hope you are clear with this idea beta next one important point here so this minus dn by dt minus dn by dt they are also calling it as activity activity they denote with simply r in some books they are also denoting with capital a sometimes they are also denoting with capital a also beta generally r or capital a you will be finding in exams so minus dn by dt i can write as r so already we know that minus dn by dt as minus dn by dt is equal to what is the value for minus dn by dt n lambda minus dn by dt is n lambda i can write it as r is equal to n lambda r is called radioactivity its value is n lambda n lambda n is number of nuclei remaining lambda is decay constant so now here also we can plot the graph like this so whenever we want to graph plot the graph for r and t r and t so here what we got here r is equal to n lambda r is equal to n lambda we got so here already we know that n is equal to n not into e power minus lambda t so from that information i can write now r is equal to n not into e power minus lambda t into i can write lambda so now in the place of n i substituted this one but observe carefully here n not into lambda what is n not into lambda r is at any instant radioactivity and any instant n not into lambda i can write it as r not r not initial activity initial activity observe here n lambda is activity at any instant and lambda not into yeah, lambda into n not is initial activity so it is initial activity means now i can write r is equal to r not into e power minus lambda t the solution for activity also we can write r is equal to r not into e power minus lambda t so that from this equation clearly we are plotting the graph for r and t and the maximum value is r not it is exponential exponential negative exponential means we'll get again rectangular hyperbola the graph what we get here is rectangular hyperbola this is about radioactivity main points beta 
next here what is si unit of activity si unit of activity we have to know si unit of activity activity we can denote with either capital r or a capital a so what is si unit means si unit is vectorial bq we denote a symbol it is called as vectorial so this is the name don scientist and other unit for this one is curie other unit is called as curie so we denote capital c and i small c capital c and small i it is called as curie this is also si unit and other unit is also is there called rutherford rutherford generally will be using these units beta rutherford these are the units for what activity activity one vectorial is also nothing but remember this one very very important one vectorial is also nothing but this is a unit i can write decay per second one decay per second decay per second we call it as dps dps decay per second or disintegration per second and one rotor ford one rotor ford is nothing but 10 power 6 dps decay per second 10 power 6 decay per second and last one important one one curie one curie one curie is equal to remember this one carefully beta 3.7 into 10 power 10 dps dps disintegration per second this is a very very important key information for units point of view for activity remember activity means capital r already we got the expression for activity is r is equal to r not into e power minus lambda t you can notice here this is the expression solution what we got r is equal to r not into e power minus lambda t r is activity at any instant r not is initial activity initial activity i hope this is clear for you beta so yeah what we have to discuss next is about the main important topic is of life so of life plays very key role in this topics beta radioactivity means the student must be very good in of life for objective point of view neat point of view or je means point of view or any other complete examination point of view of life plays a key role so what is of life of life is nothing but for the number of nuclei for number of nuclei to become initial number of nuclei n not is initial number of nuclei to become of so initially n not is there now n not is becoming n not by 2 now present is n not by 2 for that time taken is called as of life for that time taken is called as of life let me write like this t of what is of life of life is nothing but that is initially n not nuclei are there after some time nuclei will decay and they became n not by 2 suppose we bought three apples now we got half of the apples we ate one and half apple we ate and one and half apple we left that means how much time taken for three apples to become one and half apple or for number of nuclei n not to become n not by 2 exactly the time taken to become half is called as the time taken in that instant is called as of life of life is nothing but n not to decay and remaining n not by 2 half of the nuclei decaying for that how much time is taken that is called of life i hope you are clear with of life beta now of life is nothing but the initial number of nuclei is n not for that to become half of the initial value the time taken is called as of life now let us observe just now we told that n is equal to n not into e power minus lambda t n is equal to n not into e power 
minus lambda t. So here n is equal to n naught into e power minus lambda t we have. So here t is equal to, suppose here t is equal to t of means. What is n value? Just substitute here. n is equal to n naught by 2. And here also I am writing n naught is there. Here when I return n value as n naught by 2, then immediately this t will become half lifetime, half lifetime. So here, observe carefully, n naught, n naught cancel, n naught, n naught cancel. Observe clearly this one beta, n equal to n naught into e power minus lambda t. In the place of n, I am substituting n naught by 2. I am substituting n naught by 2 means the time we have to substitute as t of and this is called as of life. Let me write in next page this one. Now, what I am left with this one means here. Let me check what I am left here. I am left with that is n by n naught. That is I got here. 1 by 2 is equal to what I got. 1 by 2 is equal to e power minus lambda t of minus lambda t of. So, this one we can also rewrite it as e power lambda t of is equal to e power lambda t of equal to 2. I can write it as e power lambda minus will come this side plus. So this side minus exponential, it come other side will become plus. 2 will come to the here numerator from denominator is cross multiplied and we got 2 here. And e power minus lambda to other side, it became plus. From this knowledge, from this knowledge, I can write lambda t of is equal to exponential will go other side exponential will go other side we know that we'll get to log 2 base c log 2 base c so when exponential went to other side it is becoming log 2 base c means now what is the t of formula t of formula is log 2 base c by lambda this is the relation between of life and radioactivity. Observe carefully, beta. T of is called of life. Lambda is called decay constant. Relation between of life and decay constant is T of equal to log 2 base C by lambda. I hope you understood this one. How we got of life expression? Let us see, check the next one here. So, next one is here. We have to check how we have to handle the remaining part. Now, just now we got T of is equal to what we got beta? T of is equal to I got log 2 base C by lambda. Observe carefully beta. Don't worry about anything. Just observe here log 2 base C. Log 2 base C means I can write it as 2.303 log 2 base 10. Remember, this is conversion in longer terms. Whenever base e is there, I want to convert to base 10 means multiply 2.303. Base e to base 10. You have to multiply 2.303. Then base 10 is we get. We get base 10. So we know the value of log 2 base 10. What is log 2 base 10? In longer term books, we will be having the base 10 values. The log 2 base 10 value is 0 0.3010. You have to remember this value beta. You have to remember. Log 2 base 10 value is 0 0.3010. So now remember this value so that what will happen if you multiply these two, you will get 0 0.693. 0 0.693. So directly also from now onwards, whenever you observe log base c from now onwards and now you have to you observe log 2 base c immediately in your mind you have to click the value as 0 0.693 log 2 base 10 value 0 0.3010 log 2 base c value 0 0.693 it is not that much hard beta you no need to worry you can remember this value also so t of is equal to i can write now 0 0.693 by lambda 0. 693 by lambda. This is the perfect relation which we will be using in the problems. And I hope you are clear with this one. But for objective point of view, 
the main topic what is objective point of view the main topic means i can say i can say that in uh, off life problems or off life problems the main topic is the off life problems when now you observe the main topic main topic is the relation how to get let us check it out so here just now i told that log log n by n not base c is equal to minus lambda t i told you to remember this formula long back note remember this beta this one is simple already we came across this derivation suppose if you take off life suppose here this is let me take this as equation one already we have observed this one for n equal to n not by 2 for n equal to n not by 2 the time taken is half life already we observed this one also substitute in the above formula substitute in the above formula so if you substitute in the above formula what will get here log e base e n by n not n by n not means what we can write beta n by n not is nothing but 1 by 2 clearly observe here n by n not is 1 by 2 is equal to minus lambda into t of minus lambda into t of so this is the formula what we got observe this one carefully what i wrote here just n by n not as 1 by 2 in the place of t i substituted t of and this one i am writing it as equation number 2 nothing better this one already we derived this one log n by n not starting itself we know this expression in that expression we substituted the half life condition and we got the two equations now our next step is we divide these two equations we divide these two equations that is log n by n not log n by n not base e by the second equation log e 1 by 2 and here we have minus lambda t here in denominator minus lambda t of so I can easily understand that I can cancel lambda, lambda, and this minus, minus, I can cancel. So, what are the things left here, beta? Observe carefully here log e n by n naught, n by n naught is equal to t by t of t by t of log base e 1 by 2, log base e 1 by 2. This is the expression I got. Still here you remember beta. I want to say one point in logarithms. You know very well, but still I want to explain here. B log A can be written as log A power B. This is logarithm formula. B log A can be written as log A power B. So I hope you are clear. B log A can be written as log A power B. This is from logarithms information. Logarithms information. Okay, you know very well this one from that expression. Now observe carefully. Log e here n by n not fine, n by n not I am happy. And here this t by t of I can take to where this t by t of I can take to where into the power into the power I can take. So observe now log base e log base e one by two here in power I can write t by t of in the power i can write t by t of carefully observe here t by t of so this is my expression let me write in the next page beta clearly you can observe now log base c n by n not n by n not is equal to log base e here 1 by 2 whole power t by t of t by t of this T of is called of life, of life. So now logarithm base C, base C can be cancelled. I can write now it as N by N naught is equal to 1 by 2 whole power T by T of. This is the main formula for radioactivity. By using this one only we are going to solve majority of the problems. I will take one day objective session. In that, I will explain how to apply this formula. This is the main formula I want to inform you beta. N by N naught is 1 by E. That is 2 into T power T by T of. 
so this is the main formula for objectives beta and here one more point i have to explain you that i told n by n not is equal to 1 by 2 whole power t by t of so this t by t of is nothing but number of of bytes t is instantaneous time this is t by this t of what is t by t of t by of life instantaneous by time of of life is called Number of of lives. Number of of lives. Number of of lives. Number of of lives. I hope you are clear. So here I can write n by n not equal to one by two whole power n. This is the main formula. I will explain all these applications and everything in my next class beta. I hope you are clear till here. so this is the main formula you remember this formula beta this formula is very very important so in next class i will discuss the application parts thank you each and every student